Hello everyone, welcome to another stream. Today we're going to be playing and hopefully finishing more of Not For Broadcast, which is the game where I am a news director, uh, which is the same thing that I do in real life, except with much more chaos. Um, as you can see by the title, I am probably going to be ruining the world today, um, somehow, because of, you know, propaganda and stuff like that. Um, sorry I didn't stream on Sunday. Like I said, I was going to do Riders SMP. I had to work. Um, and there won't be a stream this Sunday either because it's Christmas. So this is the last stream before Christmas. Um, so I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, that is. But anyway, um, I'm, there's three levels left, or three broadcasts left of this game. So I'm hoping to finish it today. The past two streams I only did two broadcasts, so hopefully... I can get through it, but I do have to get off at some point because then I got to go do this in real life as well. Um, I guess I should switch to this screen. Cool. The font down there with my latest follower looks bad, but I don't feel like fixing that, so whatever. So, last time, if you missed it, um, I don't really remember what happened. <laughs> Basically, oh, I know, the government nuked people, and I also just started... Um, showing more of the rebellion on TV instead of what the government wants me to do because I have decided that I am part of the rebellion. Why is my camera so far that way? Hold on. Did that fix it? Yeah, okay. Cool. So, I'm probably going to be doing more of that today. If um, the rebellion, which is, they're called, uh, what are they called? Disrupt. If they ever say anything, if they want to be on TV, then I'm going to put them on TV because I'm trying to take down the government or something. Um, oh, this is, yeah, right after the government nuked a bunch of people. I don't usually read what they say because it's too much work to read. Um, but I'm going inside and my spouse is in there. They are upset because of the nukes. Also, oh, Chris and Susie are our children. I think maybe they're dead. Did they get nuked? Oh, they are dead. Okay. Huh. Well, that sucks. Okay, now this is one of the places where I have a choice, so... This is, the first one is advances the government, so I can be like, yeah, I love the government. But this one is, um, like, middle ground. The last one is definitely what I want to say. Nothing can justify what they did. Anyone who tries is just as bad as they are. I hate the government. <laughs> In this game, of course. <laughs> don't, uh, don't swat me, U.S. government. Um, we'll get through this together, basically. I don't really like the um, levels where I'm just choosing dialogue options. It's boring. I want to just get to the broadcasts. What's this? Where? What? What is this? Where am I? I don't know. I'm not even gonna read it. <laughs> Too much work. I think it was a funeral for our children or something. Wow. A lot of days are passing. Um, cool. The music is kind of cool. Ordinary morning, um... Something has gone missing. What am I, what, what am I asking for? Another professor went missing. Oh, scientists, doctors, and researchers are going missing. Uh-oh, my boss is here. Okay, so the government is basically kidnapping scientists and directors or something and trying to hide it. Also, Bozeman is my boss. The boss, the CEO of the news or whatever. Um, I kind of hate him, so... Okay. Is this... <laughs> this is not a level, is it? Dude, can you just give me, bring me to the levels? Like, I'm interested in the story, but I don't really feel like <laughs> reading. Hey, Caramel Banana, how are you? You're in marine science class. You, you guys still have class, isn't it? Like Christmas break now? I guess not. That sounds cool though. I, I didn't have any marine science classes. Oh, okay, my son is still alive. I thought Charlie died. Huh. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's in the Cohesion Cadets, which works for the government, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, what what do these guys do? I'm gonna I'm gonna call him out. Because he works for the government. I just found out I'm on probation in math class. What? I don't know what probation means in math class. 
Probably should have actually done math homework while watching your streams. Yeah, probably. I kept telling you to do your homework, but uh, you just refused. You're really bad signal, so he's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you're not missing much. I'm uh, I'm trying to take down the government, basically. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm not even reading the story mode. Hey, John, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. What's up? Radish man, that's me. I'm trying to take down the government, but it won't bring me to an actual level. It keeps just bringing me to these dialogue options that I'm not reading. But basically, the government, it's like 1984 in this world. The government is, has nuked people, they uh, um, are trying to take down the world or something, or I don't, I don't even know, I don't really pay that much attention. <laughs> Probation for my program is they're going to kick me out if I don't get ahead. Oh, well you better get ahead, go do your homework. <laughs> Stop watching my government rebellion. You're good, finally got your Xbox account so I can officially play Minecraft again. Oh, that's cool, awesome. Dude, love Minecraft. Isn't, uh... Oh, I'm getting a call from the spam same number. Hello? Okay, this is a level. Hello? Oh wait, this is actually not a spam account. This is a... Uh, automated lo uh, student loans message. All right, well I'll, I'll call them back later. So that's actually important. Huh? What? What's going on? Alex, are you receiving? It is the kick illusion. Yes, I agree. What am I supposed to pick up? This? Oh, okay. Oh, hey. What's up? Okay, the revolution is starting tonight. Okay, we'll do. I'll be talking to you regularly tonight, and I'll also be hacking you when I can. <laughs> so yeah, this guy on the on the walkie-talkie is like the leader of the uprising. So I'm doing what he says because I want to take down the government. Okay, play the break at the the tape at the second break. We'll do. And then I'll play a uh, um, crazy Neil, I guess, and Joy of Privilege. Last time I was here, the worst thing you had to deal with were naked protesters. Yeah, last time was the first episode. This is, I think, hopefully the last episode. But uh, basically, there's been, the government has nuked people. Um, there's an uprising. There was an apocalypse of, like, killer toys for a while. Um, so yeah, you've missed a lot. But don't worry. I don't remember any of it, so it's fine. <laughs> also, oh, one guy threatened to kill himself on live television, the, the last anchor. He, had a, he held a gun to his head, so that was kind of cool. I think he's in jail, or maybe he's dead. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the uh, broadcast is starting. Good evening. This is the National Nightly News, broadcasting across the territories. My so she's cool, I guess. But basically, they're going to give me two pictures to choose from, and I have to choose what I want to broadcast to the world. Usually I choose the more, the option that'll cause more chaos. Oh hey, this is the guy that held the gun to his head. Uh, let's show, let's show him in jail. <laughs> Jeremy Donaldson. The disgraced former journalist was obviously considered a high value target by Disrupt. Is he dead? often championed him as a possible new voice for their cause. We encourage you to turn yourself into the CCOs, Jeremy. Oh, okay, so he's not, he's on the run. Cool, that's good. Food, glorious food. I mean, he was kind of annoying, though. <laughs> opening in territories 5, 8, and 14 today. Advance confirmed that the program is now in full operation, providing free food for free every food. citizen of the new future. Mm. So it's they probably want me to choose three, but I'm going to choose four. I don't know what four is, but I'm going to choose it anyway. <laughs> Jack Tractor Pants spoke Jack to Tractor Pants, dude. Said today that I want a name like that. <laughs> the contents of every box is nutritious, the actual quality of the meals you cook depends on whether you have a touch of Chef oh, okay. Jordan Rankley yeah, so that was a good choice to choose, I think. Of a professional footballer. Who's this? If I, were a rich man, I don't know who this is a picture of. Territories 11, 17, and 22 today, as striking bosses attempt Wait, are there to like, do they number like the sectors? With Dude, this is just like a Minecraft story. If you don't understand what I mean by that, then don't worry about it. I'm going to choose the one with all the traffic. I like traffic. Private jets and mandatory I mean, I don't like traffic, but I think it'll cause chaos. In an annoying show of petulance, yeah. the former elites drove their luxury vehicles at yeah, 10 throwback. miles per hour up and down the <laughs> Dude, Mojang. Dude, the government is basically Mojang in this. <laughs> I'm going to stop making these references. I, <laughs> I'm cringing at myself. 
some fun now. Signs of ever more resistance to advances. Advance is the government, by the way. As popular resistance movement disrupt. Disrupt is the rebellion. Across the territories. The organizations. Why does that panda have? <laughs> disrupts them on it. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the first one because the second one looks like animal abuse, and I don't want people to see that they're abusing animals. the impressive display earlier today. Disrupt spokesperson Alan James. Alan James, who's on the phone with me right now. Described as a critical mass. Poor choice of words given recent history. Three of our regular stories I don't know what that come means. to an end tonight. First, a flawed rain is gonna fall. More tragic photographs okay, emerged today. Okay, these are definitely the exact same picture. <laughs> right? Arrivals at the island paradise Maybe they're gonna be a video. Sometimes it's a video. And, but I just don't know which one to choose, because it's the exact same. It's like spot the difference. You guys see any differences? Because I don't. With 81 year old Jackson Whatever, I'll go with the first one, I guess. One crying oh, it was just a picture. Okay, why would they just give me the same picture twice? It's cool. What did she say? Jimmy I don't pay attention enough. <laughs> like, I'm only here for the story, but I don't pay attention to the story. A tribe called Best. Good news from Dante's taint, as it seems the community Okay, these are also the exact same. Now permanently trapped Maybe the government's not letting me choose well anymore because I keep <laughs> showing the wrong image. It's probably what it is. Society has developed in the caves, with a also, what? <laughs> annual moth-eating competition and a new language, or oh. possibly disease, called Taint Tongue. It taint seems tongue. like Ingrid and David's team are thriving. That's cool. It's just a shame that they started eating the wheat. Man United. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're definitely just not letting me choose anymore. Man, this sucks. Whatever. <laughs> I'll do this one. He got married. He was actually engaged to a woman for a while, and then they called it off because he came out as gay. I remember that happening. And now he's married to his, the love of his life, a man. So that's good. Good for him. Exactly. Go gays. <laughs> As well as getting Dangly a parts. Peek at the hottest ticket in town. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly, Nightly News. Okay, last time their intro was like the world on fire and stuff, so I guess they fixed it. I guess that's cool. All right, what are we doing today on the news, boss? Oh, here we go. They're hacked. They're trying to hack in again. Um, so I got to switch to that. Orange means they're hacking. Hello, Alan James. And as for when, you'll know. Keep watching. Keep watching. I will. Oh, okay. I guess we're going back to them. But first, 500 days after the loss of a fine leader and a great man, the start of tonight's what, program who died? is dedicated to remembering and celebrating. Oh, Peter the Clement. Peter Clement. He was like the drunk Patrick Bannon guy. I don't really, I didn't really like him. Where Julia Salisbury will be breaking ground on what will soon be a memorial garden in Peter's honor. All right, Patrick. Patrick. Stop yelling. You're on. Okay. I'm censoring him down here. The red means I gotta censor swear words. The blue means I gotta censor, like, uh, rebellion words. But I'm not gonna censor those because I hate the government. Nope. I'm doing it. She's lost it, mate. She's completely off the rocker. I heard from an aide. Should I go back to Megan? Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh no, he, they, I think they killed him. He's dead. Should I go back to Megan? Just as soon as we can get back. Okay. back. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me just say, I think the memorial gardens are going to be gorgeous. I've had a sneak peek at the designs. They and killed Patrick. I didn't really like Patrick either. I also thought he died earlier. That we have got the signal back. We can now go the, in the apocalypse in thing that happened. He definitely died. Also, this is not Patrick. Thank you, Megan. I'm Patrick Bannon. And <laughs> no, you're we not. Are light. <laughs> okay. Apologies for she the said, I'm Patrick there, Bannon. But any moment now, Julia, Julia Salisbury is the leader of the government, by the way. Huh? What's up? What? I do not want to do that. Actually, that's a good thing, because now I can make him not look good. Hey, what's up? I will, Alan. I'm on your side. What do you mean that's Patrick? Is it Patrick? Does she look like a Patrick to you? Maybe she does. I'm, who am I to judge? 
Okay. Good evening, fellow teammates. So where's the editing friends. part that I gotta do? Oh, it's gonna be up here. Five hundred days ago, all of our lives changed irrevocably. Irrevocably. Still reeling. Don't know what that word means. Tribulations of Liberation Night. Another great loss befell the people. Okay, so I'm supposed to not make him look good. So I'll go with two. When do I switch to that? Right now? Let's just do it right now. And a hero. Peter Gordon Clem. Oh, I cut before you did that thing. That would have been cool. Oh, sorry. Just six weeks after Liberation Night. Born to a working class family Who is this? On robbering, Peter first trained as is this her, his dad or something? Let's just do this. First moving and building scenery oh, this and is him when he was younger. The personality that we all knew and loved so much. <laughs> just the job first hit our screens over 25 years ago, running for 11 series, winning multiple awards, and charming audiences up and down the country. Peter am, I, am I doing a good job oh, making him look bad? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. But he also taught us what it took to fight them. Courage, integrity, well, I think I do a good job. Empathy, hey Mar, how's it going? Aren't you in school or something? A career spanning three anyway, I'm trying to take down the government by being a news director, which is also something I do in real life. And much later, late night chat show PT, which at its peak oh, you're right. I do have to do that. You know, you want to do me to do that now? Oh, you ditched school? Okay. I can go put the the hat on in a bit. Let me finish this level real quick. He always did have a knack for a turn of friends. Anyway, I'm trying to make this guy look bad. He's dead. But, uh... But, he, chose to but, uh, but he, he ran the government or something. I don't even really know what I'm doing. <laughs> During Minecraft? Oh, you don't want me to, to wear it now? Okay, that's fine. For the people of these Makes it easier on me. Famous for his potty mouth. It's estimated he is famous for his potty mouth. Yeah, he, he swore a lot, and I had to uh, censor him a lot. Though some sources How many swear words? Excess of two million f bombs alone. <laughs> that's cool. So that's quite an achievement. As he was in the weeks and months leading up to Liberation Night, he wasn't the man we loved. He wasn't the man we loved. But his eyes still twinkled with that familiar joy for life, that spark of wit and wisdom of a life lived for others. I'm getting, I'm getting viewers for this, so obviously I'm doing a good job. Died Keep missing the big stuff, Mary. Yeah, After I. From the long -term it, it's it's hard to do this on the fly. This is not accurate to how it works in real life, by the way. Peter like they don't just give me footage that's constantly running that I have to cut to. <laughs> moments for us supposed to give a speech, not unlike this one, actually. Only I'd, um, I'd spilt coffee all down myself, and I was young, nervous, desperate to be liked. <laughs> And from behind me, I heard, Christ, Pat, you've either pissed your kex or sprung a leak, but either way, you've got a problem. <laughs> and before I could even say a word, he stripped off his dry trousers and insisted I took them. Wait, <laughs> what? That was the sort of man that Peter Clement was. Kind. I have him just taking a bunch of shots while she's saying he's kind, compassionate, a and thoughtful. Uh, that's a actually a good leader. shot. That's not what I want. This one, there we go. But mostly... Ah. I keep missing it. Okay, there we go. Here's him yelling again. A good man, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, there she goes. Uh, let's do uh, this one. Oh. I'm also confused. You're welcome, Alan. Basically, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'm just trying to take down the government. That's all I can say. And I was trying to edit, like, this guy who used to run the government, who died. I'm trying to make him look bad. So I was cutting to, like, bad footage of him. Oh. It is my great honor to give to you the Peter Clement Memorial Garden. Yay, he has a memorial garden now. How sweet. Everyone with me. Ten, nine, eight. Seven. Oh. Let's cut to Megan. Now, Alex, 
control the message. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. I didn't realize. I'm leaving, I can't! Alright, cool. So a bomb just went off. That's pretty cool. Oh, that person's dead. She, okay, wait, maybe I shouldn't show that part. Okay, okay. Um, uh, you two stay with him. Mom, we have to stay by your side. I am the Prime Minister, and if I give you an order, you will damn well follow it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes Mom. Yes. Okay, that made her look bad, right? So that's good, I think. Look at me. Look, look at me. Oh, Let's show I this. I can't hear anything. Oh, that's Patrick. Medics are coming. You sit down. <laughs> it said Patrick in the subtitles. Her name is not Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Who looks good? Oh, did I make her look good? I thought I made her look bad. Because she was like yelling at them. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention she nuked all those people, so, uh. So. Oh. I probably should not have shown that on live television. <laughs> oh, okay. I am just showing murder on television. That's cool. I'm not. I'm gonna get fired for this. Oh. I said, please turn that off. You can't make me. Oh, okay. You can't make me. <laughs> Back to Megan. Is this not enough? You've just seen them execute. Oh hey, he's hacking in again. What's up? People like you and me. So why are you watching this? He is dedicated, why are you yeah. Not in the streets with us tonight. Exactly. What will it take for you to get I'll join you in the streets tonight, except I have to do my job, so I guess I can't. Headquarters. Storm the building. Demand elections. Demand answers. Be what you were born to be. The once and future free. Agreed. We'll be back after this. We'll be back. Oh, advertisement time. Thank you, Alex, from all of us. You're welcome, Alan. I don't know who Crazy Neil is, by the way, but his commercials are funny. different tonight. This is the big one. Great. There was a revolution happening outside, and we're all fucking That's journalism, apparently. We get set for the next sequence. All right. So that went well. Usually there's three segments per broadcast, so there's two more segments, and I think there's three broadcasts left in the game. I think I was looking it up to see how many were left. I'm trying to finish it today, but I gotta be done by, uh, two. What? We don't know yet which camera he's on, but if we find out, I'll let you know. Just keep your eyes out for the fist, and try and keep it on the ear for at least five seconds. Alright, will do. Our operatives will do the rest. I didn't really hear what he said was going to happen. <laughs> All I know is when I see the fist, then I got to bring him up or something. Is it Adam was over? Okay. Who are we starting with? Probably two. Who's this guy, by the way? His name's Jeff. I don't think they like each other. <laughs> oh my god, Jenny! What? No, no, look at it. What's wrong? That's ten seconds, everybody. Okay. Just leave this with me, yeah? Mm -hmm. I know where we should go with this. Going in five. I'm not four, starting with you. Three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News with me, Megan Wolf. Very shortly, we'll be taking is that is camera four what I'm going to be on? For the notice board, but uh, I hate the notice board. That was like a play that they do, and it sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Listen up, you lot. We need to get a few things straight. Everything okay? Jeff? You're not exactly fans of what we're trying to do in here. You've made that perfectly clear. Who's he talking to me? I'm just having a little word with the viewers, Megan. Don't okay. worry yourself about it. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Seems like you've forgotten where you are, Jeff. Seems like you've forgotten where you are. Well, I am. Which is a shame. What? <laughs> a real shame. Now tell me, Jeff. Okay. We just heard our man's on camera four. Cause he, that doesn't look like your man. We do our, our, our segment on. It looks like a. Every single oh, is that the fist? Oh, it is the fist. Okay. Should I cut to it now or what? I don't have to. 
You should see some of the letters I get. <laughs> oh, I would love to see some of those letters. Let's just cut to it right now, see what happens. <laughs> no. You're a very small man. Okay, sorry, they, they cut out of it. No. <laughs> oh, it was a location. I need to give them the go. Well, yes, our viewers are off. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's a good idea. Good, I couldn't agree more. Mm. Right, sir. But there's nobody on camera four anymore. Dominic from Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, arrogant, talentless oaf. Is that? I think it's addressed to Tommy, but still. You're not funny. You're annoying, and I wish you'd all go and live in the sea. Doesn't look like a go, so I don't think I'm supposed to. Ah! Why did I lose viewers for that? I think I didn't cut fast enough. <laughs> well, let's see what happens when I cut to this. I don't really know what it has to do with anything. Oh, okay, they didn't like that. <laughs> I don't. How do you know? How do you know things more than I do? Oh, hey, Alvin. All right, I'll put on a, a lay right now. I'm in the middle of something, though. <laughs> What have we got? Um, here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this okay, one. There you um, go. What have we got? Blah, blah, blah. Philippa's um, talent. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Tommy's talent, fine. Yada, yada, yada. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> he literally said they only need to share location in the group. Oh, I thought he said something like, um, the and then you have to give them the go or something. Hey! Your show's uh, yeah, you did pay attention. You're right. Waste of time. Never mind. Hat switch. Okay, Alvin. Which hat do you want me to wear? I know you've seen them before. Do you remember which hats I have? I don't have time to go show you all of them right now. Or I will. If you don't remember, I'll show you this all during a commercial break. But I'm busy right now. It's live television. I can't stop to switch my hat. Simply reads, I want watch this rubbish. Um, which I assume is a spanning. Show me the hats, reddish boy. I don't. I can't. <laughs> it's live television. Yeah. So, strength. But I'll show you them in a few minutes. Strong. Yeah. I would say, Jeff. What, what do you want to say to yeah. people at home? I would say there's an easy explanation, Megan. Yeah. As you know, we are unbelievably funny in here. That's not true. Yeah? So it seems to me I, quite <laughs> Why are you redeeming everything? I don't even have my water bottle in here. I'll have to do that in during the commercial break too. Their jobs. Or, and I think this more likely, are deliberately trying to ruin the show. Oh, is he talking about me? Oh, he's that's me. <laughs> I'm Alex Winston. Yeah, he's mad at me because I I booed them every single time last <laughs> last time they. Uh, did their um, yeah. play or whatever. Like I'm gonna do it again. Listen, because I hate you. Team might have made a few errors that have led to some. Oh, uh, they weren't errors. I did it on purpose. Yeah. Well, I think that's bullshit. He's right. It is. <laughs> oh. Is he coming in here? That was just a I hope not. <laughs> is that him? Okay. No, I think I'm good. Just a reminder: if you do have any comments or criticism about Jeff, you can send those in. He clearly oh, I got lots of criticism about Jeff. But now it's time, maybe for the last time. What was that sound? Oh, I'm gonna boo. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna boo them every time. They give me an option of which one to choose, and I can choose based on what they're saying, but I just hate them so much that I boo them every single time. And I'm gonna do it again. Because you guys will see what I mean. You'll see how terrible this play is. See? Oh, f fuck. I've forgotten the line. Can we go again? <laughs> no, you can't go again. I'm booing him again. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's God again. What it's, it's... a day! What a day! <laughs> uh, first a team on This guy and then is very annoying. To post oh. this notice. I don't know how I managed to cope with it all. Booing him. Perhaps I do. See, it would have made sense to laugh there, but I've just hate him, so I'm booing. <laughs> oh, bus sake, Barnabas. What's this on camera too, by the way? Oh, and I hate her. She's the worst actor in all of this. I'm booing. A knife wielding mugger or stabber. I'm afraid not. It's just me, a community cohesion officer, responsible for keeping crime record lows. That's what my son is, by the way. He's a cohesion community officer, or whatever they call it. Violence in our streets. It's a thing of the past. What's all this, vicar? The booing is so short now. The go code. Oh, Alex. I was doing that anyway. Might just pull this off. Oh, wait, hold on. Was that three? I feel like that was only two. Did I do it right? I don't think I did. 
Now don't call me the right reverend. Okay, Alvin. Whip, for no reason. <laughs> Alvin wants to take make me take my glasses off. I guess I will. How long does it say it is for? Because I don't remember. Yes. Wow, I can't see. It's no good. Okay, I think I did it right. Dude, this is like the worst game possible to do this for. I cannot even see my chat anymore. All I know is the boot button is right there. That's what I'm cutting to. And I can't read the words anymore. Okay, don't know what he's talking about. What's going on? What's, I, can you guys tell me what she's doing? Except I can't read. So I don't know what you guys are saying. <laughs> How long does it say I have to do this for? Oh, I did it? Okay, cool. I think I just may have done something. Who's that? Oh, that's the other guy that I hate. I hate all of them, actually. What does that say? It says five minutes? Okay. And it says you boo one more time. Thank you. <laughs> I figured that out. Um, anyway, let me start a timer. I'm gonna do three minutes because I think it's been two minutes already. Three minute timer, so I can cut back, or put my glasses back on. Unfortunately not. The ferret struck again last night. When Ray opened the post office this morning... Yeah, this is absolutely the worst game that you could... Well, actually, it would probably be worse if it was Minecraft, because I would not be able to see what I was doing in Minecraft. But I can't really tell what's happening anymore. I guess if I was listening, I could tell, but I'm not listening. Usually I just read the subtitles. But I can't read the subtitles anymore. Laura, tell me. What does that say? Oh, Why you already said that, okay. The ferret? <laughs> Some say it's because of his sneaky nature, but really it's because whenever he strikes, he always... He'd be better at Minecraft without glasses. Thank you. Urine. Wait, that's probably an insult, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so censoring some words. Booing them again. Um, what camera should I be on? That one. The community cohesion team are doing their best, but they also, the plays that they do are entirely propaganda, by the way. But I know which is why I hate them. Propaganda for the government, that is. <laughs> if it was propaganda for the rebellion, then I would, uh, be fine with it. Oh. What am I supposed to cut to here? <laughs> okay. It's the morning for fate now, thanks to theatrical convention. <laughs> sure hope everything goes to plan. Oh look, there's Mrs. Craven setting up her cake stall. And look, there's the motorcycle display team setting up for a show that would be too expensive to show on television. That's funny. I would have laughed to that. I should have done that. But I just boo them, because I hate them. I'm running the tombola, and then I'm selling forgiveness for money. Aren't you judging the jams? I couldn't possibly. Oh, that sounded like Mrs. Craven. <laughs> Looks like no, it did someone not. sucked all the jam out of her donuts. The they did what? what? How do you even do that? Do? Although I'm very competent, I have no idea how to solve this case. I guess we'll have to cancel the fake. Hold it right there. What are they Fetch. talking about? Me? Have you been drinking from the fire extinguishers again? Not you, the vicar. I have. I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend. Has it been three minutes yet? I would like to see again. So you could have the day off, didn't you? Vicar, okay, there's 20 it seconds true? left. Good. I don't know what you're talking about. Reverend. Admit it. You wanted the village fate cancelled so you could have the day off, didn't you? Vicar, is, it is that true? sexual? I don't know. I don't, know I don't even know which part you're talking about. Probably. Reverend. No, stop. Uh, we've, we've got stuck. Let's, let's just. Um, uh, Hold it right okay, there. timer went off. See, timer. So I'm putting them back on. Oh, I missed, I missed the, uh, the booing sound. Oh, well. Oh, sorry about the ads, but it's accurate to television. Because there's commercial breaks. No! Someone's fucked this! <laughs> Was that part of the? Yeah. 
admit it, you wanted the fake cancel so you could have a day off, didn't you? Bicker, oh, they were stuck in like a loop. It's kind of funny. I already have to work Sundays. I already have to work Sundays. I shouldn't have to work two days a week. Dude, me too. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, they're doing it again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're just going hey, to Megan. cut short the... Um, the final episode yeah. of the notice board. There. What? Yeah, that's yeah. fine with yeah, me. Yeah, really I sad, hate it. I think it really has run its I use ad block for There's a good bit oh, nice. where I sold the whole thing. It is a shame. It's a real shame. We would like to thank you all. Look, let, let's just, just go on with the last bit. Tommy, let's just, just go on with the last bit. Tommy. We still got a minute left. For fuck's sake, you leave! Right, right, fine. And Tommy's gone. Right, fine. I already have to work Sundays. Oh, it's something about um. Uh, God, about, um, fucking <laughs> damn it! Dude, this guy Thanks hates him. Again to the cast of the oh, notice board. Uh, so much. But for... how did you know? Mm. Uh, you know? My first clue <laughs> was the smell. <laughs> the hundreds of lessons and and the laughs yeah, over that's last right. year I do and smell a half. Of uh, yeah. Right. Uh, next, I noticed that the vicar's tongue was particularly. Can I just cut to commercial? <laughs> Are they killing him? Hello? <laughs> I hope so, honestly. Break there. When we come back, we'll be seeing the opening number of a brand new musical. You'll fucking regret this! That's coming up after oh, messages. I forgot to censor that. Oops. Alright. What did you redeem, Alvin? Let's see. Hydrate, hat switch. Um, I guess that's it. What? No, I did not. I didn't hear what he said. All right, let me go get my water bottle and my hats. BRB. Tell me what happens if anything happens. Actually, you guys can still hear me because I have a Bluetooth headset. So I'm just going to keep talking while I'm in my kitchen filling up my water bottle. And I can still hear the game. That's Alan talking to me, I think. Wait, he said censor on their behalf? Okay. Um, I only half got that. So, uh, Abby, you're gonna have to tell me what to do again. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, I got my water bottle. Anything interesting happening on the screens, by the way? No, it's just an advertisement. Oh, actually, no, this is the Rebellion advertisement. I should have been watching this. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Was he in this? Alright, there's your hydrate. And um, I'm gonna get my hats. You can choose which hat you want me to wear. <laughs> These are all my hats. Okay, redeem hydrate again. That's cool. You better hurry up and choose. I gotta cut, get back to the broadcast in 30 seconds. Can you see them all? Yeah, that's good enough. That's my shade, is it? Can you, oh wait, am I even? Okay, I am holding them on camera. Oh, what is she doing? <laughs> okay, the red one. I feel like you guys always choose the red one. I mean, I I don't mind, but you're always choosing that. How many seconds do I have left? Oh, ten seconds. Oh, I better get. Better hurry up. Okay. We're starting. Welcome back to the National I just took my headset off though, so I can't hear what you're saying. We're hoping to be able to go back to Patrick Bannon at the scene of tonight's shocking. Back to Patrick Bannon. Cool. First, I'm delighted to be joined by the cast. And you're redeeming hydrate two more times. That's cool. I do like hydrate. Speaking with the cast in a moment, but first, let's take a look at the. I got to do another one of those musicals. I hate the musicals. Welcome to the Novaries. I just booed them. Oh, that was two hydrates. Hello. I was not going slow. Doctor? Maybe I was. Yes. I see. All right. Thank you for me know. So this is one of those musicals where I have to like cut on beat. Get, <laughs> why do you keep redeeming hydrate? You're gonna drown me. And my job is well paid. At least I don't have like. At least I don't drink alcohol on hydrates like Hades does. John. He's due home soon, won't be long. Are these the same characters that we just saw? I think they are. Anyway, that's my combo at the bottom. Like, oh, I ruined it, I guess, somehow. 
Oh, uh, he's drinking coffee now? Nice. Anyway, what am I supposed to do with uh, Alan again? I forget. <laughs> Does anyone remember? I'm home. I gotta hydrate another time. Oh, darling Oh, there's a guest I gotta Oh yeah, no wait, he was saying censor on their behalf or something. So, I don't really know what that means. I think I'll figure it out when it happens. Song's kind of a banger though. Wait, what did he say? I'm ruining the beat. Uh, maybe I should use the keyboard actually. Actually, yeah, the keyboard's working a lot better. The ballad of Jane Doe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, that was not working. I just I ruined it. What? Okay. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. I didn't cut to the right cameras there. I have terrible musical timing, apparently. Like, look at my, my combo keeps going back down to one. No one wails and no one falls. No one draws things on the walls. A happy husband. A wonderful wife. I'm trying to do it when I hear the, the bass drum or whatever. From my Spotify rap. <laughs> So is this just like an announcement that these actors are having a baby, or what? Don't know, don't really care. When am I having a baby? Good question. I guess after I get married and... Uh, I guess I need a girlfriend before I can get married. <laughs> hey, what did they say? Wait a minute. <laughs> they're trying to make it look like having a baby is a bad thing. Which, you know, I see what they're what they mean. But uh is this propaganda so people don't have more children? Is this like a way to control overpopulation, do you think? Yeah, I think they might be against breeding. Maybe like the world is too full or something. <laughs> okay. I mean, I wouldn't want to bring a child into this world where... Oh, man, I forgot to boo them. Darn it. I don't, wouldn't want to bring a child into this world where advance is like evil. So, I guess it's fair. Energy for a childless life, which is currently the hottest ticket in the capital theater district. And we'll be touring okay. the territories later this year. Uh, I'm gonna boo again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there were a lot of them. Uh, I was gonna say they're not all gonna fit on that couch. Well, listen, let's get stuck in. You're amazing musical. Now, I mean, not only do you perform... Oh, no ovaries, no ovaries? I don't know what that means, but it sounds funny. Anyway, Evan's redeeming Hydra again. How many points do you have? I feel like you have a lot. But no, it's very much a team effort. Oh, that's fantastic. How rude of me. I've not introduced any of you. Yeah, how rude. You're the one being replaced next. It's funny because it's probably true. Hi, I'm Jack. Jim Blunt. Pleasure to be here. Jennifer Boreham Woodley. Hello, I'm John. John Suckley. Oh, wrong camera. Used to be in the business professionally. My name's quite a few from Blinding You, but it was worth it. Okay. Fair enough. That's incredible. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. All friends previously. I'm hearing like. <laughs> it's not a coincidence, right? I feel like I'm hearing like bombs outside. <laughs> uh, with, with, your, with your names begin, beginning with a J. Oh my goodness, guys! Our names all begin with J. I didn't even catch that. We never noticed that. <laughs> because you haven't typed them out a thousand times. <laughs> you knew. Why didn't you say anything? I thought we all knew. It's bloody obvious, isn't it? I just thought we were doing a funny thing where we never mentioned it. <laughs> and I believe as well as being friends, you're also couples. You know, in real life as well as in the show. Because well, I'm the bomb. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I'm definitely hearing like gunfire right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it because it's kind of faint and I don't know how far up my um, sound is. But uh... Four fabulous years. Well, that must make for some confusion in the rehearsal room. Well, you should have seen the first draft. Jen decided that Jack would play Jim, I would play Jack. Jen, Janet, Jill, Jen, Janet, Jill. What about John? Well, my character was originally just called... Also, I stopped listening to what they're talking about because I don't care. <laughs> Wish I could boo them more. Oh, I can, okay. Dude, that was funny timing. We decided that we just use our own names, which is less truthful. We're also less what does that mean? to go into the wrong dressing rooms. Oh, God, yeah, that would be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, of course, when I first wrote it, we were only meant to run for a few nights at the Nimbia Village Hall, but when I registered it with the Department for Culture, it caught the eye of someone high up, and before you could say it over <laughs> sensation... Yeah, it's definitely propaganda. <laughs> it's all been a bit of a roller coaster, really. I'm only 19. I'm the Why does she keep saying that? Have to repeat that? Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a weird to thing to say. I was a mortuary technician. Well, yes, we all had to move to the capital. <laughs> <laughs> I love that job. It's been a very turbulent <laughs> time. So peaceful, no singing. This piece isn't. <laughs> it is political. Censor the orange. Censor the orange. Okay. And why you shouldn't have them. <laughs> In a way. Yeah, it is, political. it is political. I'm censoring it. I don't care. After all, we are a solid unit. And eagle-eyed audience members will see we nod our heads to advance on stage throughout. And we target the message. There's a lot. There's a lot to censor. Well, about 35. As she definitely just said this isn't political, but now she's saying a bunch of political stuff. Terrible problem. Having children. You understand, <laughs> Megan. You clearly agree. Wow. This isn't about me. Of course, we see that there are advantages to a family unit, but eagle-eyed couples watch as the little parasites advance on their lives. And there's no time to play the guitar, get through a book, or watch a movie. They're exhausted, passed out on the couch by 20 to 9, for God's sake. I wonder if they know that I'm censoring all everything that they're saying. Usually I'm the chatty one, because you're the youngest, we know. It's not a badge of honour, Janet. <laughs> Janet, please, Jennifer. Oh, well said, John. Thanks, Jack. Got you back. So, could John <laughs> just tell us uh, what is the play about? Mm. What yeah, what is it about? Is it? Well, go ahead. It's a tragedy, obviously. <laughs> um, Jennifer, myself, and John have their child, and then the story charts the downfall of their hopes and dreams. <laughs> and there's lots of singing. And dancing. A lot. Dude, I'm terrible at, at cutting this. For a oh, censoring. Unit. Eagle-eyed, she sees her friend's rapid advance to a pit of despair. Becoming a target for children's TV advertising at the age of 22, she decides to take drugs. I feel like she works for the government I can't really say or more, something. I probably said too much. Yes. She's like undercover. <laughs> Let's not spoil the second act for anyone who might come to see it. <laughs> Which should be all of you. <laughs> and they don't know what you're talking about because I'm censoring everything you're saying. A life without children is somehow incomplete. That... The children are a, are a blessing. I mean, well, I've done the research. Okay, and thank you, Alvin. Not. <laughs> Besides, there's already loads of bastards <laughs> running around all over the place. So. We just want people to have the option of a happy, child-free life without stigma. <laughs> you know, I was 14 before oh, I had. Why did they just get rid of my camera? I that was had rude of them. With a girl called Julia Jacobs. She was an experiment, I guess. You know, a chance to. Dip my toes into the eating. Well, thank you all so much for coming in tonight. I really <laughs> hope you keep them dancing. I'm booing them again. For many performances to come. The oh, they're called the Novaries. That's funny. I didn't get that when you said that earlier, Abby. <laughs> Alright, to Patrick Bannon, who is... That's not Patrick. <laughs> Her name is not Patrick. 
is Patrick Bannon. No, it's not. <laughs> from the scene of tonight's okay. devastating Whatever. and symbolic attack tonight this evening. An attack. She's terrible at. I myself have been found reporting. myself caught up in. I I'm still a little dazed and a little deaf, Megan. So I hope you'll forgive me if I seem that it's time to speak with the Prime Minister. Mrs. Salisbury, that's you. You're still here. The Prime Minister. I couldn't leave. No. No, there were people that Should I be help. censoring her, Any Alan? Any player would have done the same. Alan doesn't care. I deserve praise for being human. Yes, no accolades here. Or palisades. Or lemonade. Right. What? So, is the situation... Now, are we safe? <laughs> uh, Yes, um, the security yes. services perform their duties without hesitation, and I would like to assure the public that although there have been some... It doesn't really sound safe out there. Deaths here I'm hearing evening. sirens and gunfire. Sorry, did you, did you say no death? That's right. No civilian deaths. No civilian deaths? Just before disrupt terrorists oh, okay. by law enforcement who were, She's calling them terrorists. They so cohesive. Okay, my, if I, I may, just shook. I have a message for your viewers. <laughs> of course, the camera there. Speak there on on the camera there. Stay at home tonight. Do not become another casualty of war. Disruptive had. Oh, now I don't want to stay at home. But as the dear departed Peter Clements once famously said, it ends today. Thank you. Okay. Prime Minister, thank you for those. Strong words of strength. Can I boo her? I can't. Back to the studio. All right, I guess we're going now, back to Megan. Studio with Megan Wolf now. <laughs> Patrick Bannon there, bravely reporting. That's not, line that's not Patrick Bannon. Oh. Need to get out Patrick, Patrick Bannon's about to die though. Oh, yeah, the there's time. definitely explosions outside. Oh, I, okay, we're going back to. Sight, my friends. Okay. You have mobilized. You have come together. From our agents at the television networks risking arrest and getting those words to you to the many hundreds and thousands gathering to invade team headquarters as i speak we are turning the tide and it is time for change it tonight is. i agree with alan can i go with them wouldn't it be crazy if the game suddenly turned into like a first person shooter where i join the rebellion that would be cool unfortunately it does not um oh. the military have been actioned and well it's pretty scary out there tonight so stay at home Nope, not gonna. Because the team has assured it would be hilarious. I wish it would do that, honestly. Because I'm kind of bored of doing this. Probably because I do this every day. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't do this every day. This does not happen every day. Yeah. Oh. Alright, that exploded. Cool. Can I can't even move now. I got. I have to look out this window. I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, maybe I. Sh maybe I'm regretting. Like I caused that. Indirectly, of course. But uh. But yeah, I. This is my fault. I mean, it feels kind of dark. Should I be streaming this on Twitch? <laughs> I mean, it's all animated out there. But, uh, oh. Am I dead? This is why I should stick to being a Twitch streamer. You're right, because otherwise I will cause chaos. I only got a D on that. Usually I get an A+. Plus. Oh, the second one I got a D. Which one was the second one? That was the play. Yeah, I didn't do a really good job on the play. Oops. Disrupt, destroy the Channel 1 broadcast tower. Oh, so does that mean my job's over? I don't think so. Exceedingly poor edit. That's funny. I played one advert too late. No, I didn't. Maybe I did. Oops. Dude, wow. I <laughs> usually I don't have this many notes. Advanced is angered. Disrupt effectively silenced. That's not true. Well, I mean, they're all dead now, so I guess it's true. Alright, well, I got money. So I'm not negative. Yeah, I think I did start World War III. Or like a civil war. Uh, manageable debt. That's, that's good. Um, 
Advance hates me, Disrupt loves me, and somehow my boss still loves me too, I don't know why. Because I feel like I am ruining everything. But there's more levels, so... Also, the last two times I streamed this, actually I think all three times I streamed this, my game crashed like right at the end of a level, so I had to restart the level. So I'm hoping this doesn't happen today, because I do not want to restart anything. I just want to finish the game. 913. Oh, so this is the next day. Cool. Um, I have to go talk to my boss immediately. Uh-oh. He's going to kill me. Boss man arrives. Um, Bozeman is flustered. Thank you for the stretch redeem. Ah, so Alex, do you know why you're here today? Bozeman's eyes are sharp and his gaze is fixed on your face from across the desk. Desk. Abel's just standing behind you, out of sight, but definitely not out of mind. Should I say not really no, or should I say I assume to do with what happened with Disrupt? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna play dumb. <laughs> what happened last night was nothing short of accumulation of a heinous and outrageous campaign of terror that Disrupt have been reaping on this nation and its territories. And it is, of course, our duty to ro root out this rot whenever, wherever we find it to prevent anything like last night happening ever again. I have been asked by Advance to perform interviews with all staff members involved, and will be submitting a personal review of your performance, both during the incident in question and throughout your time here. This can only end well. Is that sarcasm? Because I feel like it cannot end well. Don't worry, it'll all be fine. Obviously a lot happened last night, and I have a number of interviews to conduct today, so I'd rather none of them take any longer than necessary. Please be brief and concise and clear in your answers. Let's start at the beginning. After the attack at the memorial, you seem to have per portrayed the terrorists in a quite sympathetic light. Why? Um, I'm gonna say I showed what was happening, you know? I don't know. I didn't have bias in it. Um, hopefully this will all be over soon. Reviewing the broadcast, we noticed something a little odd about a particular camera choice. It was while everyone else was talking. Oh, where did I put it? Ah, yes, here we are. You recognize this? Oh, he, he shows the leaflet from the notice board that I showed. Oops. Um, I assumed it was just part of the set. Why else would it have been there and on camera? Good way to put it. Yeah, I'm, resp I'm not responsible for the set, and I just cut to whatever is on the cameras, and they were showing it. So it's not my fault. There was one thing we noticed during the finale of the notice board. You seemed to play an odd choice of sound effects. Oh yeah. For all three, you chose to play booze. Not just three, I played booze every single time. <laughs> I was supposed to only play three booze in a row for the the code for Disrupt, but I just was just playing Boo all the time anyway, so it was just coincidence. Um, I wasn't in the impression that I could pick freely, actually. Uh, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I was under the impression I could pick, pick freely. Actually, that might have been the wrong choice to say. Um, how many other people is he interviewing? Towards the end of the show, there's gonna be some issues with the sensor equipment. Oh, right, yeah, I was censoring. <laughs> Oops. Posture check. Okay, thank you. How do you explain the fact that you censored perfectly acceptable language during the final segment? Um... Hmm. There seemed to be an issue with the machine. It wasn't me. I don't know what you're talking about. Lots of questions. What else? Now, obviously, we expect the odd bit of interference here and there unavoidable. However, interference is not the same as terrorist propaganda. Would you care to explain how quite so many of their messaging found its way onto our airwaves? Um... Machine's been out of date for a year, even the last update didn't make life any easier. This is accurate to real life because our machine at work runs on Windows 97. <laughs> so, that is accurate. The tape of that poor Miss Brightman, why did you play it? Who's that? Oh, was that the disrupt tape? Um, I don't know, that seemed like the news. Thank God it's over. Okay, cool. Is he gonna kill me? Let's see. Um, nope, I'm still alive. Okay, cool. Somehow. I would have killed me if I was my boss. <laughs> but I'm somehow alive for at least 300 more days, so that's cool. A banquet for some. There's gonna be more words that I gotta read. I wanted to read the story. Yeah, sorry, I usually just skip through the story because it's... I can't read. Sorry. You can't see what that says. Don't care. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta... If there's choices, I usually read it. Relatively. Um, there's a banquet that we have to go to. I have the day off. 
Tell me not to wait. Hold on, what? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to arrive at wherever. Um, I'm cleaning the house. Is Sam dead? Sam's my spouse, by the way. Nope, they're still alive. Happy anniversary, Sam. Oh, it's our anniversary. Cool. Oh, and my son's here, too. I could have sworn my son died. Oh, he's my son's now in the management program for the government. Don't care. Um, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> Sorry if you wanted to read that. But I do not care. There's a lot of days passing. Lucky I can skim fast. <laughs> okay. I can't. I wasn't reading any of that. Everything's ready. Uh, where are we going? Hold on. We're going to the movies? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, wait, we're watching the movies here at home. Okay. Um, Sam is... Oh, she got fired. Sucks to suck. Oh, she's a teacher. They don't need young teachers anymore because no one's having children anymore because of that play. We're gonna have to sell the house. What? Dude, I make money. Sort of, I think. I, I'm in manageable debt. <laughs> I'm not broke-ass poor anymore. That's what it was saying the first day. Home is where the heart is. Oh, I got an achievement for that. I guess because we sold our house. Day 1975. Dude, that's a that's a year. <laughs> I mean, I guess all these things, all these numbers have been years technically. OMG, that's a year. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it's a recent year is what I was thinking. I guess that's why I said it. <laughs> the ster steril steril sterility. Three years since the uprising. Really, it's been that long. Oh, hey, what's up? Nothing major to report. Certainly isn't anything you can't handle. Still, at least my daughter's in for advances new initiative. It's been three years and we still have the same equipment. Actually, it does look slightly, it looks slightly better, I, I think. All right, let's turn on the power. A rundown of the top-selling songs across the territories. Um, what's going on today? What's tra tra traipsing through your territory? Oh, God, it's triplets. What music is best in Julia's diary? Actually, I don't know if any of that is this show. I, oh, I gotta put these in. I forgot. But I only got three choices today. I don't want to play any of this. This is all advanced propaganda. But it doesn't. It didn't give, disrupt didn't give me anything today. All right, whatever. Whatever. I'll play it. I guess. Colin. He um. What's up? What's going on? Nah, nah. We don't believe in it. All right, come and sit next to Mum. Believe in what? Just days. Oh, uh, this is her her daughter. Didn't she not have a kid? Or is she a fake daughter? Because didn't she not have? I I don't know. Okay, we are going in five. Looks kind of nasty out there. Three. What is that? Okay, whatever. Good evening and welcome okay. to the we do have a kind of an updated uh, setup here. This, this is blue. <laughs> well, it's bring your daughter to work day here at Channel One. So That's I'm not your daughter. Foster daughter. Oh, foster daughter. Okay. 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 okay, that makes sense. So fuck yourself. Oh, <laughs> All right then. Here Why did you bring her on First up, camera if you th or whatever? Confirming that the nuclear fallout from the 20 week war um, is to blame for the drop in birth rates across the territories. Which of these should I play? I, I don't know. Was quite deflated when I heard about this, but I'm going to go with this one. Submissions have really the two dudes the with the dollhouse. On my face. Don't really know what it means. This is from Drew in Humberset. To take our minds off things, me and my partner have been building this house for our hamster. It really does distract <laughs> okay. us from thinking about the 85% sterility rate. Three ads. So next week, we're Dude, it's accurate to television. It's commercials. Conversion and a holiday home. Thank you for that. And if you've started... Let me know when you're back. Do write in I don't think you can hear me because of your ads. It. Next up, you know how we love your uncanny comestible coincidences and 
I don't know about you, but I think this doesn't sound like news anymore. <laughs> like this is just. I'm more impressed by Stacey. Okay, I'm gonna show Things toasts, I guess. Why not? Our menu Wait, is there a, a person in that toast? Like a picture of a person burnt to that? Or am I crazy? Greg from Proddington has sent us this lovely photo of their breakfast, saying, "I couldn't bring myself to eat my toast this morning because I could swear it bore the spitting image." Okay, of the I was thinking that too. It does kind of look like Julia Salisbury. I thought maybe I was just crazy though. That's weird. Do keep those coming in. Don't actually. Have a go. Uh, we've just got time for one more of your stories, and this one is an inspiring story of rehabilitation. Uh, uh, that's it, just... Tell show this song. guy. Yeah, and then read it out. Okay. Um, so this one says it's from John in Stokely. Before I was convicted, I'd never read a single book, but since I was released Dude, same. from Betterman, I haven't been able to stop... From Betterman? Excuse me? My lunch break, Mr. Wordy Worst, Literally 1984. We absolutely okay. love hearing the way our neighbours and team members have been able to become better. So do let us know your stories here. I'd rather not know, actually. You can do this bit, Stacey. <laughs> no, you're right. Come on, give it a try. Let us know your stories here at the NNN. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a new intro. Right. Dude. Why is it so pink? Oh wait, what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Um, I have to use sound effects, I think is what he said. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll just do the opposite of what he tells me. Why are they calling it NNN? I mean, it's National Nightly News, but like... Uh, I, I don't know. Up tonight on the NNN, it's time to celebrate this week's team lottery winners live from the Shakespeare Theatre right here in the capital. We're going to hand over to Julia Salisbury. I suppose you don't think much of her either, eh, Stacey? She's got a lot more going for her than you, wanker. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to censor her saying wankers. I didn't know wankers was a swear word. Good evening, everybody. All right. Um, hey, it didn't let me choose the boo. It's only letting me choose one option. That's rigged. Like, actually rigged. I want to boo her. It's not, It's only letting me applaud. This sucks. I hate this. What? Why did I lose viewers for that? Oh, I didn't realize there was another camera I could cut to. Oops. Alright, I guess I'm going to keep cheering. By one of the oldest people in Territory One. He was born over 107 years ago. Please Dude, that's crazy. Warm team welcome All right, I guess Alfie I'll cheer Alexander. this guy. He's kind of cool looking. So, Alfie, you must have seen so much in your lifetime. What have been some of the highlights? Alfie? Is he alright? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh because it's telling me to make him to laugh. His hearing aid isn't turned on. Oh. Aid isn't turned Could on. you turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just don't play the sound effects? Would they get mad at me? Well, uh, will you tell him that we'll buy him a brand new battery after the presentation? <laughs> Yeah, he says that's fine then. <laughs> yeah, he says that's fine then. And I will, I will help him with that. Yes. If you would. <laughs> Sorry, can't get the. Start. I wish you would let me choose the other <laughs> options. Yeah. We got it. Okay, we can hear him now. So, Alfie. I mean, he can hear. You're them. 107 years old. Oh, don't bloody remind me. <laughs> would you like to tell the audience what that's like? Where is everybody? Oh, pfft. Is there nobody there? Out there, in the dark. <laughs> There's no one there because I'm playing the sound effects. Who are you? Uh, 
<laughs> I'm Julia Salisbury, the Prime Minister. A lovely story. Who are you really? No, no, I, I really am the Prime Minister. Oh, oh so you're a, 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 you know, a, a woman. A, a woman. <laughs> one of Women can do anything men can do these days, Alfie. I mean, that's true. I, I, if I was booing every single time, I probably would have got cancelled for booing that. And not too much milk. This guy's gonna get cancelled. Should we get to the awards, Alfie? Oh, are you going to ask me about my life? Well, I'm not sure we have enough time left now for that. So. Yeah, me either. Nine, okay. I wanted a pet to ask me mum and pap. There was no television then, back then, you know. We made our own to entertain out of cold and <laughs> well, that's I'm upset that I can't. So they got me a pet, see? But Play the boo sound effect. They haven't let me choose it once. This sucks. Why would you give me the option if I can't play it? <sighs> What's this guy talking about? I tuned him out. My dog in the okay, river. now I can boo because she boo she threw his dog in the river. I mean, I guess that, that's that's a good thing to do. Oh no, I've been married seven times. Divorce eight. There was a mix up with number three. See, guess I'm just lucky. To hammer it in, that you don't have freedom. Yeah, I guess that's true. Soon, Alfie. First, let's turn to the reason we're all here. The Weekly Territory One Team Awards. Territory One Team Awards, huh? A lady who really knows how to put in the extra hours. She works at a transition center in Handel Bamble. Transition center, huh? Single-handedly allowed more families to unburden each other than any other nurse in Territory One. In the uneven path, she'd have been locked up. So funny. Tonight, Hilarious. She is being honored as a team player. Please welcome. Right, I guess I'll Jackie cheer. Is that her? Uh, uh, are you here to change me? Just uh, <laughs> give her a medal, Alfie. There's a good boy. <laughs> Doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Don't let it stink too long. I think you're supposed to give me one of those. Oh. Well, I, 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 there he goes, look! <laughs> I can't get the arms up in the eye. <laughs> it's kind of sad. You'll have to go down. Uh, thank God those fractious times are behind us. And now the territories are thriving. Are we in? As the act you said to the bishop. <laughs> yes, thank you. I've got it from here. All right, cool. She... Well done. Daphne Smith to everybody. Now, <laughs> open your envelope and find out what you've won. Oh, <laughs> hold back there. She's stuffing one of Peter's homemade Ethel's cakes. Got it. I won a holiday for two in Territory uh, 15. Why did I lose viewers? Oh, I guess because I didn't cut too close up. Though, didn't it? As I believe it did. Yes. Why couldn't we have stuck with that then? It's easier to remember. Uh, I'm not going to censor that. They're all one nation now. <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to cut to that. Oops. Mister, everyone. <laughs> oh, what about my strange? I've been in these five months for three days now. Uh, we'll get to that, Alfie. Okay. <laughs> uh, next up tonight is a couple from Farnley who after a rocky start losing their family's ill-gotten gains to the Assets and Wealth Act, have really embraced the new future, setting up a community farm and petting zoo in their local area for all the local children to play. That's pretty Please cool. Please welcome Otho and Lobelia Jackson Randigannit. You got some weird names, though. You know, when I was in the trenches, I had a pal called Scotty Wilson. He was from way up north. So I didn't understand a bloody word he said. But he was the best. <laughs> she just grabbed him herself. Probably for the best. <laughs> and his best mate was Smudger A. Let's him Fiddle I'm going to cut to him because I don't care about the medals. 
she were a girl. I don't know what he's talking about, though. But she had a boy's name, so they shipped it to the front anyway. <laughs> First girl any of us has ever seen, Kahuta. She's dead now. They all are. Smudger and Scotty never made it home. Fiddly got shanked in Frank's worst decision in argument over an olive. Exploded Relatable. Quietly Exploded quietly at home? What does that mean? Fatal skin, Fatal skin condition. Scratched herself to death. This makes you think. Thanks, Alfie. <laughs> Great contribution. <laughs> so, Otho and Lavinia. A petting zoo. After we lost all our wealth, but we discovered there were actually people who had never even owned a pony. That's crazy. <laughs> so we decided to do something about it. Uh, that's the type of people we are, you see. Advantage of a private education, probably. Well, I'm sure we can... Wait, why did I boo that? Hello? <laughs> so, let's see okay. What you've won. Whatever. It made me boo it, that's why, but... Oh, absolutely. Every citizen of the new future has my ear. When advance came to power, you took all of our wealth. You took the shirts off of our back. They probably want me to censor this, right? I used to collect shirts. Well, have the rest of it too. Oh. oh security. You know, I'm gonna show it this time. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Oh, I can't show this on your channel? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll cut to Alfie. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to cut to them. I guess I gotta keep booing them. You tell him, girl. That's my wife, you know. No, no, you don't. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> By the way, it's censored for me because I'm playing the game. But I don't think it's censored for the people watching. Oops, I didn't mean to cut to them again. Is that what his name is? <laughs> He's just protecting her because she's naked. You can do it, Alfie. This reminds me of when I was in my twenties and we go to the, the <laughs> promenade at Shining on Sea and watch all the pretty girls on the beach. <laughs> Everything was black and white then, of course. We'd visit the Penny Arcade and try to win a block oh. of lard to take home to the family. Yeah, he's, they're just beating her up down there. In those days, you had to I'm going gonna, gonna to show it oh. because... He was so why am I losing viewers? You, don't you guys want to see a naked woman being beat up? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'll cut to Alfie. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like more people would be tuning in. Maybe all the people who tune into that stuff are dead. That's probably why. What's he doing? Yeah, no one was listening to you, Alfie. Is he gonna kill her? No? Okay. That was an he should. Dose of naked nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> Some people it's funny. That's why I look in joy <sighs> and fervent admiration at the younger generation. So and with fertility falling throughout the territories, we should value our fabulous new generation now more than ever. Yeah, wait a minute. So people just aren't having kids anymore. So does that mean when all these people die, they everyone's dead? More than 170 disrupt collaborators in his own neighborhoods. What? He's gone to be a senior cadet leader and organized all of the entertainment at last year's camp cooperation. Our final winner tonight, Edwin Neverland. Oh, I thought it was going to be my son. I was like, dude. But no. You should be in a transition center, you old monk. Now why would you say something like that? It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We're very similar, in my opinion. Well, I've never been much of a role model. Lots of prime minister. You have saved this country. You have fought enemies foreign and Ah, oh, this guy likes the government. I hate him. 
Where's Alan at? Uh, my walkie's gone. I wonder if he's dead. Maybe it'll be a fist enlargement. I didn't understand that. Alan is most likely dead. Yeah, it has been like three years. I wish he was alive though. Let's show the fools where they went wrong. Because this is boring me. I want something interesting to happen. I guess the naked protester was kind of interesting. But, uh, I would rather have Alan hacking in again. Thank you for this award. And David, report the non cohesives be a team player. This guy sucks. Join me next week when hopefully. Things will be a lot more normal. Back to you, Megan. Prime Minister Salisbury there at a highly eventful team award ceremony. Hey, what's going on down there? Stacey? The nurse was fucking scary. <laughs> Pre-teens are saggy, and that little prick will never lose his virginity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, what did I lose? Oh, I, f I didn't realize there were... Close up like a cut to live for star studded premiere. You won't believe he's on the red carpet tonight. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back. After this. Oh, Alex, like the guy who only spoke new speak. Wait, I understand that reference. What is that from? Is that from 1984? I can't remember. Oh, sorry, are you talking to me? I'm so sorry, darling. Who are you talking to me? Of course. I'll speak to you later. Oh, Alex. Oh. He was not talking to me. All right. Still, lucky to have huh? What? Okay, whatever. It is from 1984. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember that. It's been a while since I read that book. <sighs> I'm bored of all this government propaganda. What is this? I'm still trying to figure out what this is up here. Oh. Segment grade D. How did I, yeah, actually, that's fair. <laughs> I think I did a bad job that time. Alright, what's up next? They do know I have a Queen's View degree in journalism. Don't you wish you'd study something useful now, eh? Dude, agreed. Where is our honoured guest? Why is she still? Why do we still have her on camera? She's not a very good. Alright, whatever. Doesn't matter. Four, three. Welcome back. Stacy's still here. Wishing she wasn't. Huh. Thanks, Stacy. That's and funny. In this segment, we got a viewer for that. <laughs> to sent Robin and Patrick to the movies. Yes, tonight is the world premiere of The Automated, starring Lawrence Blunderbatch and the late great Helena Canterbury Bochu. And all the stars are out tonight. We first covered this film almost five years ago, back when it was called The Medicated. Then, for mysterious reasons, the film was suddenly pulled the night before its release. Well, since then, um, executive producer George Focus has spent I feel like there's an allegory here, but I don't really know what and turning it into a it's an allegory too. Premiering tonight with extensive state of the art visual effects and a top quality voice team, George says it's the movie he always wanted to make. Now, let's take a look at it. <laughs> All right. The Moon Base 3 Solar Rotations Later. I can't deconstruct it. His name is Dick. Captain. I can't deconstruct it. I can't deconstruct it. Robots. Uh, this kind of sucks. Awake? You think I don't grow that? Oh. Okay. Dick, I'll kill you. What? <laughs> think of sad me. What? Did, what? There's something on your face, Chief Harrison. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I wish you were real, baby. Flesh and blood. Captain Quasar. But you're just ones and zeros, baby. Why is it making me watch oh, this? Captain Quasar. You rusted. Quasar. 
but I didn't notice. Captain. I'm buffering, shit, you said. Oh, he's about to die. God damn it, lost it all. Wait a minute. Are they actually saying these words? Head north on Interstellar Avenue, left of the asteroid belt, and a tricky three-point turn at Uranus. Because they were saying they edited what the whole movie thoughts? or something, so I'm feeling cool. like this is not the original line. Shut it down. Maybe I watched it in a previous yes, episode, but I don't down. remember if I did. But we have to ask ourselves, who are we? Is that the end? Do I cut to? Oh, she's a robot. Oh. Uh, is he also a robot? Oh, they're both robots. Dude, plot twists. I didn't see that coming. Gosh, thrilling stuff. What okay, think, that kind of sucked. What do you think, Stacey? She doesn't care. The robots were all right. Oh, she okay. she did like it. Okay. They certainly what? were. Let's go no, they were not. Short now in Western Square. Who Megan has Short has got the star of the show. Robin. Oh, Robin right, Short. Yes, we are live. Oh, it's the dude. <laughs> From Western Square with a man who needs no introduction. Florence Blunderclatch. Florence Blunderclatch. Dude, I'm a huge off. fan. Magical. Absolutely magical. <laughs> my most dear friends all gathered here to celebrate my work. One more yeah, I think we interviewed him in a previous well, episode, but I don't remember exactly what happened. I probably ruined it, though. Knowing me. Time? Well, I really couldn't say. <laughs> but if the association deigned to honor me for a fourth time, <laughs> so it. it's really not for me to say. <sighs> But let's just say that I know of three little gold men who are getting rather lonely. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know what that means. Oh, the Oscars. And each more deserved than the last. Well, it's safe to say that your career has gone supersonic in the last couple of years. Has, has it? Been? Can I boo? Well, I I'm trying to boo. Can I do something? That's Steven Spellman. The Steven Spellman. I could cut to another camera, but that wouldn't really do said, anything. Steven, you know, this is I'm gaining really viewers, even though I'm not doing right. anything. Did you know what I'm not even listening to what they're saying. What time is it? It's 1.30 already, man. I still got a whole other wow. broadcast to do. <laughs> and what do you I don't know if I have time. I probably don't. Well, if we're talking actual numbers, I'd have to say Maybe I'll just go into work late. <laughs> talent? I'll say I was sorry I was directing the news uh, somewhere else, so they can't get mad at me. Not to mention the incredible coverage on election night that really was the start of it all that and my own range of sick bags lawrence's chum to catch <laughs> what <laughs> wow who could forget <laughs> well it's been a uh, i guess we're going over to patrick bannon now <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> well <Patrick Bannon's laughs> it's been like three years and this person's still going by patrick bannon involved vomit Patrick. You're not Patrick. Thank you. Also, Let's hope not. we'll see. I remember her from last episode, and I hated her. Surely you recognize my youngest pop sensation, Lil D. Lil C. Okay. Oh wait, is it not Lil C? Oh, she's around. She's not been feeling very well. She's put me in charge. How's she? Well, the court. See reference to Billy Billy Ray Cyrus, and she's reference to Miley Cyrus. Her internal soul, praise Craglar. Praise Craglar. Wow. Who? But is she coming? Just because we've got some questions for her. Well, she might be along later, but as her legal and spiritual. I didn't like her anyway, so I don't, I don't mind that she's not here. She was really annoying. And Lil D, was it? Well, you look great. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know what? I feel great. Well, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Little C, and you could be too. Really? Little C's new line launches tonight. This is one of my favourite looks. It's called... Ah! Oh, what a unique <laughs> name! Hard to okay. spell, though. But of course, Little C is basically fashion world. They're not giving me anything to do anymore. Empire to her name. <laughs> yeah, the game got boring, maybe because the government is fully taken over, so I guess it's realistic. The last level better be good. So really, we have all you to thank for all this. You know, Should I just censor them? More than my <laughs> the no, I guess I would. I yes, should, though. Nice hat. <laughs> and Fruits Magazine has named me the youngest self-made success story <laughs> ever. <laughs> and do you have any advice? Aren't you not even her, though? Absolutely. 
All you need to succeed on your own is your family's financial backing and pre-existing <laughs> fame. That's funny. It's not rocket science, people. <laughs> it's true because... I mean, it's funny because, funny because it's true. <laughs> you think it's true because it's funny. I mean, that too. Yeah, yeah I'm afraid so. I'm sure you can imagine. At 25, she's far too old for pop music now. She what? can't keep up with these young stars. So, her Best Off album is out now. And she's touring that later this year. And then her farewell tour the year after that. And that's her last. She's giving me 26 and you're. Until the reunion tour. Oh, the reunion tour, okay. Tour after that. <laughs> okay. But it's been a long and varied career, as you can imagine. She's very, very proud. Oh, and if her health's bad, then maybe it's for the best. <laughs> She's 20. What's wrong with her health? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was yes, saying. Her health. Her. She's sick today. I think she might be dead. Do you think she's dead? I feel like she might be dead. Curse you, Zaytan! Or like in jail. Damn, you're into galactic justice. What is he talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'd better be letting you get back. Uh, those babies aren't going to sell themselves, or possibly at all. <laughs> Billy Bob, Lil C, D, thank you so much for joining me, and do pass <sighs> our best wishes to Lil C. <laughs> Who's next? Oh. <laughs> Now it looks like Robin is with a music legend who actually is a replacement. I think I remember him. <laughs> is that who I think it is, Robin? It absolutely is, Pat. Jesus, yeah. Jesus he Christ. was he was on another episode here, and I think I censored like everything he was saying. Yeah, but that was before I decided I wanted to take down the government. So my bad. So I won't censor you today. Yeah, exactly. And instead of being held a visionary, a management agent, they all dropped me. Oh no. You can't break me when you didn't make me, you understand? See, I'm the voice, I'm the hope. You can lock me up, call the doctor, <sighs> but only the moon <laughs> can judge me. So, what have you been up to since your team cut ties with you? Ah, you know, keep building, keep moving. I'm actually working on a track right now, written, recorded, directed, all by myself. Nice. Can we hear a bit of it? Well, well, Do you think this guy's a Kanye you know, reference? Probably not, he's probably a Jay-Z reference. I hope he's not a Kanye reference after what Kanye did recently. <laughs> yeah, you guys hear about that? Yo. The news tried to shut my mouth. But it won't be long until they go south. What? Because my name's Big J and you can't stop me. Yeah, See, Kanye no is nuts. <laughs> I don't even want to say what he did on my stream because of what he did. That's what I've got at the moment. Did you just rhyme me with me? Dude. Mm. Daddy promised this wouldn't happen again. You're supposed to clap and say, well done, Julian, well done. <laughs> okay. I'll clap for you. Thank you. Just kidding, I can't. I'll clap here. Good job, Jay-Z. Hey, why is four locked? I don't know why I care. Okay, um, is it true that you're heir to a hotel chain? What? Where did you hear that? And that you're very much alive, parents. La 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 Something. <laughs> there are just so many stars here tonight, Megan. It Can really we... is the who's who of whatever here. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can grab a moment. Who's that? Is that Tom Holland? Myself. I hope you're not too jealous, Megan. Back to you. It's not Tom Thanks, Holland. Robin, but I, I don't think, think he's I, I think he's just done. Yeah, probably. So, three big names there, Stacey. Yeah, big names. Any thoughts about them? Maybe from your generation's perspective? You won't like my opinion. Go on, try me. <laughs> Well, Bumbalonk is so old he's like one week away from a transition centre, so who cares? And Lucy was cool when I was like 12 or something, but now she's just another fucking loony. And Jesus is a disrupt loving wanker who should die with the rest of them three years ago. I mean, true, ago. but like, you're right. she doesn't like disrupt. You agree with me? No, you're right, I don't like your opinion. But thankfully, we can <laughs> go back funny. to Patrick now. <laughs> it's, have another familiar face to catch it's not Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> Oh, I cut quit it's too quickly. Absolutely electric, Megan. I can't quite believe it either. Who's this? But he's here. It's Crazy Neil. Crazy Neil. Oh, he's the dude from the commercials. Dude. Is he a uh, um, Johnny Depp reference? 
It's crazy. People. He, he just kind of looks similar to Johnny Depp. themselves. They write me threatening letters. You know, the stalker has become the stalky. A real taste of Neil's own medicine, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm, That's funny. What's been the most challenging thing? Well, being so famous. It's places like this. My, what you segment are we on? I think this is the second crazy. segment, right? And Crazy Neil knows crazy, <laughs> and I'm used to being the loudest whack job in the room. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. Hey, Neil, where's the crazy deal? <laughs> Who's there? Oh. We got crazy deals on chairs. He brought a whole <laughs> chair to the red carpet. Oh. Can't say that I have. Makes a mess of the carpet. But what do you say? We got a deal? Uh, well. Well, what about Betty Andrews' handbag? It's real leather. It's real oh, cheap. Why did he and bite it? It even contains our heart medicine. Spicy. What? Uh, no, really. You've got the chair. You've got the bag. You're really busting my balls. What can I do to convince you? Let me throw in my wife. <laughs> it's the latest model. Not a scratch on her. Pearls like what? a charm. What do you say? Have we got a deal. Look, I, I really He's selling his wife. wife. Yes, you can. I got loads of them. Oh, Come okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, dedication to the to the job. We got crazy deals on meals. We got crazy deals on wheels. We got wheels on meals. Meals on wheels. We have even got endangered seals, and we got meals with endangered seals. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Oh, it's always a dream come true to meet a hero how about that megan the man himself aren't we lucky <laughs> back to you <laughs> stacy's <laughs> gone patrick what a <laughs> colorful <laughs> uh, name's not patrick looks like an amazing night hey i got an achievement know how to make an entrance crazy deal from crazy meal and the automated get rated did i get rated by who it doesn't say written all over it because despite boris horty in hours magazine calling it lawrence blunder clatches overly long suicide notes in a review which ends with the word oh okay i was gonna say to hey hades through, thanks for the raid welcome everyone from hades stream we are uh, trying to take down the government while directing the news i do this in real life too I mean, I direct the news. I I don't really try to take out the government, although I should. I mean, you didn't hear that. Anyway, so right now it's some like award show. Oh yeah, you're right. The government. Yeah, they. I think I lost trying to take down the government. But this is some award show with some random celebrities that I do not care about. Um, the job got boring because I lost. The government has taken over. I don't think this is like a. Game that changes based on your choices, though. Maybe it is. Okay, it's like a bliet. Excuse me, Mr. Saxon, Steve. Have you got a moment to spare to talk to the N N? I don't know why I just drank water. I didn't. No one redeemed hydrate. You know, I was just thirsty. Who's this? Uh, Steve. Oh, it does have multiple endings. Okay, so I got the the bad ending. I mean, I still have one more broadcast. Okay, thank you for redeeming hydrate. I'll drink again. A moment is the very least I can give your amazing viewers in return. Not that we're actually going anywhere. Where is she? Are you going to introduce us to your day? But of course, this I'm is... Great Todd's back, Danny I agree. I do always you lose. To, you know, that scene you burned into your mind. I was in that. <laughs> no. What is she talking about? Sorry. Don't remember you at all. Yeah, I don't either. I you were in that. Yes, I was the <laughs> one. Okay. Also, Hades, I was going to raid you when I ended my stream, so now I'm upset that you uh, ended yours first. Oh, everyone loses the game? Oh, I thought you just meant that I suck at video games, because that's true. Man. That too, yeah. So I learn them at the weekend, and then we shoot them naked what? in the steam room. What did he the say? In there is really good. What are they talking about? Did you say naked? Yes. Oh, well, he is. I'm in a variety of hats. It's uh, an old theatrical tradition. I had a single out. It was called Look at Me. And you did that advert, Who is she? Babe? Is that your dental floss? <laughs> <laughs> and the sex tape, of course. Steve! Oh. I don't like to talk about that. Although apparently it's available for 11.99 everywhere. Just ask your news agent. So, what is your favorite don't ask me. play then, Steve? Ooh, I like uh, the wordy one. It's he, he is never watch any Shakespeare. He doesn't know any Shakespeare. My favorite is uh, Macbeth. That's a good one. I think it is maybe a Kim Kardashian reference. You could be right. 
from that legendary first appearance. Really? Her too. Who's that? You were such a serious little thing. You had that horrible sister. Yes, that was me. I'm the horrible sister. Don't be so hard on yourself, babe. Looks are really important. So, what have you I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> well, actually, uh, last year I was overseas bringing art to the starving children from outside the territories. Oh, cool. They may not have food, but they can still have Canadia. <laughs> Good for you. And uh, now I'm in an experimental physical theatre piece about the existential angst of Wicca. Amazing. So artsy. We do it above a pub on Thursdays. I was also the girl who got murdered in the bathroom. Dude, I do not care about this woman. Just boo someone. I can't boo them. It doesn't. The government took over. It. They don't let me do anything anymore. I can't click any of this. I can't even like make any choices to make this more interesting. All I got, all I can do now is watch it because probably because I did my job bad and tried to show the rebellion on TV. I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> Steve Saxon. That's what I do all the time. Someone else can't remember her name for life me. I'm too That's funny. Starstruck. If I'm honest, I think I've just come. Back to you, Megan. Um, Alright, it's better be commercial. I, I don't know if this is the end of the, the movie. broadcast opens in cinema or not. The this I feel like this is only the first event. break. Event. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know, oh, it's the second break, okay. We'll be back after these messages. I still go to the cinema. Yeah, Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this game today because I have to leave for work soon. So I'll do this last broad segment and then I'll end. And then maybe next week I will do the final episode of Not For Broadcast. Maybe. Possibly. Thank you for redeeming Stretch. I do... Okay, redeem Stretch twice. Okay, three times. That's cool. <laughs> All right, I'll stretch out different body parts. I'll stretch out my legs next. Aren't, aren't you away next week? Uh, I'm away sun on the weekend, so I won't be able to stream Sunday, but I can probably do Wednesday during the day again like I usually do. Uh, anyway, I stretch my legs and my arms. I'll stretch my neck. Uh, anyway, um, did, did you guys see what grade I got? Because I didn't. Probably a bad grade. And posture check. Doing my posture check. Thank you. Alright, what are we, uh... Hello. Who are these guys? This is Stacy. Well, this is her fake daughter, Stacy. No, I'm sorry, but if we can't be polite, you're gonna have to wait in the dressing room. So you should have... You should make her wait in the dressing room anyway. Do you want to go and wait in the dressing room? Thank you. Hmm? You're not even her real mom. No, what? No. Thank you. Okay. And sit up straight. You're ruining my shot. <laughs> That's yeah, I was seconds, just thinking everybody. she slouches like me. Right, no, What's that? What's that? I didn't need to censor that. They're not even on air yet. Four, three. They are now. Welcome back. Another 15 well, minute segment. segment tonight, and I Dude, this sucks. Eh, it doesn't let me boo. It, it don't, doesn't let me choose anymore. And then I have to choose whatever they whatever they tell me to do. This weekend. So, let me see if I can get this right. It's Nolan. I write the songs. Ronnie. That's what he says on the tattoo. Oh, you've got a tattoo of your name on yourself. Okay. In case yes. he forgets it. <laughs> <laughs> this raconteur, you That's must funny. be chinny. Wait, is this a One Direction reference? That looks like Harry Styles, doesn't it? God, you're so fucking embarrassing. Oh. Dale. Crikey, Dale, you do not look old enough to be in a band. I get that a lot. I'm actually 23, the oldest one. I have a growth disorder. I don't think he looks young. I mean, maybe he kind of does. It's so cool, PT. Oh, it's only messing with you. He's actually 58. <laughs> okay, right, I see. You're going to be a handful. Aren't this is definitely a One Direction reference. <laughs> oh, you must be TP. Hmm, what does TP stand for? <coughs> Tiny prick. <laughs> it stands for team player. I see. How long have you had that nickname? Ever since Nolan decided Terry Prodnos was a shit name for a member of a boy band. <laughs> No co Ronnie. Yeah, no co Ronnie. No Sorry, what does no co mean? Ah, it's the opposite of Soco. Southern California? No, that's not even what that is. Soco, Southern Colorado? Oh, so cohesive. You pre-tease say 
Cool. Right. Okay. Thank you, Stacey. What? <laughs> Sorry about her. Not your fault. She's uneven. So, you guys met through a popular show on one of our rival channels, didn't you? Yeah, Team Players with a Z. <laughs> So, how Zed? does that work then? What are they, right, British? I say when they're clearly you, speaking with British accents. Give someone else a chance. We all went on team players, we all auditioned, the judges put us into bands, and um, yeah, we went to their houses and they just put us into bands. It's an example of how we're greater than the sum of our parts when we work in harmony. And occasionally singing it. So every week on the show, they get these bands. This is hard. Uh, cutting to the different cameras to who's talking. Under the bin somewhere. Actually, I. Right. This is not accurate to real and, life. Um, the public would phone in and decide which song they like. I mean, it kind of is. Right, and then uh, the losers would be eliminated. But usually, I know who's going to be talking next because we don't do things like live interviews. At least at my station. So no cool. The band who get the most approval get to play their song again. Sure. Uh, so what happens to the losers then? Mum! What? What? What do I keep doing wrong? We don't use the L word anymore. What? You mean losers? Would you please stop saying that? Can't say losers? It's that a slur now? It's a pejorative. It's a pejorative. Whatever that means. go-getters, I learned very early that we only win when everybody wins. Yeah, can't say lesbian. Sorry, that's just, that's not real life, is it? That's just sports board, no? I thought you were so Yeah, I thought you were so I am, I am so cold. Nah, you're a shrinker. Can't be friends with shrinkers. I feel like it's She's it has not, not been this many days. Uh, so I do understand actually. Um, how what many? I mean, it's been like what three oh, years a shrink, a or something. What's a how has Mom? everything changed so much in three years? I, well, I think it means someone who's older, Pre doesn't it? Pre-territories. Well, uh, Pre-territories. Before the new future, uh, we call you pre-tees. Uneven. Mimi's nonks. It's not her fault she's old, she can't help it. I'm not that old. I'm trying Actually. to she's help kind of you old. I don't think I need your help. See? I don't Total think I need your help. See? Is that so? Yes, obviously. Yes, obviously. <laughs> Why is she just staring at her? You know what the real problem okay. with you lot is? You just can't get over the fact that your beloved disrupt. Oh, they are gone. Oh, so Alan's dead. Yeah, I think these. Yeah, these guys are banging. Yeah, probably. Being led by a fucking psycho. I'm glad they lost, and you should be too. Listen, not everyone over thirty supported. It looks like they do more behind the scenes. Yeah, probably. Lot of you did. Not that there's anything wrong with that if they are. And I hate this uh, future. This sucks. <laughs> or the Minecraft Twitch streamers. Maybe. And before we end the show I think I understand that reference. Us, aren't you? Yes, like right. another we song. song from girls and why we love them all called Pieces. I cut to all the wrong cameras just then. A real relationship I have with an actual girl. Oh, no one no. give it a rest, mate. No one cares. Come on, let's get on these stools, lads. Right. I agree. Nobody cares. <laughs> So, um, Stacey, so, um, can I get your contact? Oh, 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 she's 15. Oh, oh, oh. Go on, Yeah, who cares about girls? Not me. Right you are. <laughs> so, here they are with their latest okay. single, Pieces that of My Heart. Single, are you excited, Stacey? Girls do have cooties, I agree. I only listen to blip music. And a bit of jizz core. Jizz core? <laughs> Excuse me? I know I meant to mention this earlier. Apparently these newfangled boy bands change singer all the bloody time. Try and file along. Alright, I'll do my best, Mr. Bozeman. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. Who's TP? Okay, it's him. No, he's Nolan. Man, you sent away with a brand new pair of black Cause baby, do you remember? You took the first of the pieces of my heart You wandered into a push and grabbed a vodka and stank Took our assets and our wealth Why do they have two angles on the same guy? Me to trying to brainwash me into thinking girls are pretty, but we all know where men are where it's at. Um, I guess I agree. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see how it's woke. Whatever. Doesn't matter. 
Oh, Remington Smith. This, they're, I understand who they are, I think. Men do have cooties. I agree. You guys are distracting me. I'm trying to do my job over here. Also, this game came out last year, so the fact that it's this is like a probably a One Direction reference is kind of doesn't really make sense because One Direction broke up in like 2012 or something. And this game came out in 2021. It might have been 2022. I mean, maybe it's you who's cooties. Maybe. Who's singing? I cannot tell. <laughs> ah. Also, why is it a One Direction reference, not just a boy band reference in general? Because One Direction is the only boy band that I know about. <laughs> Um, at least some, the only recent one I know about. Like, are there even boy bands anymore? I guess maybe BTS. <laughs> but they're not... Um, Korean, so... Maybe the reason why every man and woman you meet has cooties is because you have it. Yeah, I agree. I think it's when they're kind of an industry plant. Yeah, there you go. I know what industry plant means, definitely. The members have been shipped together to hell and back. That's true. And one of them looks like Harry Styles, which is... This guy looks like Harry Styles, kind of. Which is why I thought it was on direct. It's the low-key gay stuff, yeah. Ah. This is definitely a Harry Styles reference. Just singing out. I don't know any of the other One Direction band members' names, by the way. I only know Harry Styles. Actually, one of those names is Niall. I remember him. I'm not a One Direction stan. I'm not listening to the lyrics, by the way. Um, is this more propaganda? I don't think so. I think it's just a normal boy band song. Well, they mentioned Neil. Neil's the crazy dude. Pretty you know your music takes his trash. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't boo them, man. Oh. That's a weird camera angle there. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Look at her face. Now it's almost time for... Niall, Zinc, tonight. Harry, Louis, and Gilgamesh. And uh, <laughs> you know, it's weird that I believed you for the first three... I have no, I have no the first four words there. I just thought you were spelling them wrong. But uh, Gilgamesh gave it away. Take it away, Stacey. What? My name is Stacey. I guess you know that by now. I don't know why I put that in there. Yeah, I don't know either. Anyway. Zinc. I, don't I mean, the news. I don't there's know. No need. You hear all the important stuff. I know there's one of them starts with a Z, and I wasn't I reading it that closely. Considered. Zane, that's what it is. But I'm pretty sure that it's not rehash movies and fucking boy bands. So, anyway, I'm going to talk about what's important to me. When advanced <sighs> were first elected six years ago. Six years ago. I was nine. Has it really been that long since the first episode? Not a family home. Like I feel like it's only been a few weeks. Home. This was a state children's home. It was. It was fucking awful, actually. It was like a Charles Dickens book. The roof I don't know who Charles Dickens is. <laughs> unfortunately. Food was bad. Drugs and alcohol were everywhere. No one cared. You had to watch it back all the time. Because is Charles, staff, Charles manager, Dickens someone I should know? And yes. I, <laughs> as you'd imagine, I feel like I recognize the name. There was a lot of 
I feel like he wrote Moby Dick, but that's probably because Moby Dick Sometimes has the word Dick in it, and Charles Dickens also has the word Dick in it, so they're probably not related. Not all of them, but the others knew, and they didn't stop it. And then, advance. I wonder if I should be listening to what she's saying. And like a miracle, Chris Todd talking about Dick more than me. Yep, it happens. We had nicer food. The home was not just repaired, but redecorated and kitted out with books and sports stuff. And so she's, she's giving some government propaganda here. She's saying advance when they won, that everything was perfect. Which there were more of, spent time talking and working with the bullies. And you know what? A second miracle. It worked. The bullying stopped. Life, my life, got better. Because finally... There was enough money to do the good things, and Advance had the guts to do it. I joined Go Getters, and on Liberation Night, that gave me a group of. Dude, I don't care about your government propaganda. Can I just cut to the advertisements? No, I can't. Can I boo her? No. I could cut to a different camera, but that wouldn't make sense to do. So here's my final. I got a ton of views for this for some reason. People who were doing better under the old system long to go back. You say, we were freer. We were. But what you mean is... I mean, they were. We were richer. Oh, I guess me too. But for every one of you, there is a hundred of me. And even now, after all... I wonder if what she's saying is supposed to make me sympathetic and, like, agree with the government. But I am not listening enough to care, so it's not. of your own and families of your own. I don't care. I want disrupt back. And I'll never have that. Bring back Alan James. So maybe you should stop looking Bring for back Jeremy Donaldson. Of everything this amazing Bring back, uh, and realize. Amazing government does. It's I don't remember any of the other rebellion people. It's for the millions like me. It's for the millions and you can cry and bleat all you want, but you're never going to get your money back because it's already been spent. On miracles. Have fun falling in line. Oh, you, you gotta go. Okay. So yeah, I'm about to end the stream anyway. I will have fun falling in line, I guess. Uh, I don't want to. But thanks for stopping by. Last advertisement time. And we're out. Cool. That was fun. Not really. That right. was the worst level because it didn't let me make any interesting choices because the government has taken over. This sucks. I mean, look at the sky out there. It's all polluted and stuff. What is this? It's Christmas time. Talk. Hey, what? <laughs> what are they saying? So they're always there then. Uh, there was a, a thing a few years ago, that Oh, with that Jeremy bloke. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Everyone he tried did. to shoot himself on camera. Good times. Doesn't look old enough. Hey, broadcast complete. I got a D, dude. Uh, I got only got a D on the first one. Yeah, whatever. Um, some rude words were broadcast. Oops. Interference free show. Cool. Exceedingly poor edit. It always tells me that. Advanced angered by content. What? I feel like I did everything Advance told me to do this time. Because it didn't give me options to not. Whatever. It gave me money. Can't afford coffee. Awesome. Dude, I love coffee. That's a lie. I do not drink coffee. Advance loves me. Disrupt loves me too for some reason. Even though I thought they were all dead. Alright. I'm saving and quitting. It's been two hours. I don't have time to finish this game today. So next Wednesday will be the final episode of not for broadcast hopefully we will be able to take down the government but uh i doubt it honestly but until then um thank you all for watching next stream will actually be next wednesday because this sunday i would do radish smp but i'm going home or to my parents house for christmas so i don't have time to stream but um next wednesday more not for broadcast and then Next Sunday, so like January 1st, will be another Radish SMP episode. Possibly a Christmas episode, even though it'll be after Christmas. We will see. So, this is my last stream for a week. I hope you all have a good... Uh, a Merry Christmas. I don't know why I started there. Merry Christmas if you uh, celebrate it, or Happy Kwanzaa, or Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate anything, then... Um, 
happy regular life. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure to follow me on social media, Radishologist. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.